Good evening, this is Kara Coffey of the Ministry of Uncovering No More. It is Yom Kippur. I have begun. This is my father's desk and his drafting board, so I'm bringing all of faithfulness with me tonight in my office. Some hard things have happened even in this house. After I was disinherited and our family decided it was best that uh, the parents were moved away. We had been through too much, and it was a very hard time in my entire family's life, and we're all hanging in there. And I have a place now, a brand new website, where I can, I can just talk about myself. I'm trying really hard to move away from personal family pain um, in, my, in, my, in my public life public testimony life and so that is a process of uh, forgiveness I've talked a lot about allowing myself uh, contrary to what I was taught in the Christian church as a girl I was taught I, I talked a lot about allowing myself seasons of hatred of human nature that spun out and hit me hard I've also admitted that as it concerns the King of Kings, when he was here to die and arise again in the New Testament record of the four Gospels, that he openly warned us that it would be that way. I have blocked the tendency because I was taught to be guilty if I wasn't exactly correct in the Christian church. And I have blocked that tendency in my life and say now, no regret. And, it's, and I, I said it, and I kept mentioning it, even in the pain of the betrayal, at the, t at the times where I could tell people were hiding things from me and, and, and planning things for me that were not true. I am past the point of having compassion on people who made poor choices in my life. Uh, you, you need to, to show me your regret face to face and um, you've twisted things that I've said to you in text or whatever and the only way you're going to face that is taking the time to actually come and trust the work of the master in my life and start over with me and every day that you don't I'm not going to keep track of it like in some in some hard flashback anger I said last week, but every single month that the younger people of this family don't reconcile themselves face to face one at a time with me, we don't need anything but one another and honesty. And every day that you don't, every month that you don't, this uh, this family's debt to the king and I is um, a house payment because my father, even if he betrayed me at the end, it doesn't matter to me. None of that matters to me. What my father covenanted with this family as I was having the beautiful children that I have, what he covenanted with me, his daughter, his only child at that time, his daughter, he covenanted with me that I wouldn't have to have a house payment as a single income mother who was having a large family like his mother did. My mother went against a covenant that my father and I had with her, threatened Curtis. There are younger children in my family that have quietly admitted to me that I was mentally abused and I have no one, no one who will face this dragon because I am a sorceress and I know that's difficult. Face me and say, I was a part of that narrative and I'm here and so are you. And we thank each other. Mistakes were made. But they, they cease to be mistakes when you knowingly stay away. That's not a mistake anymore. Second Peter 3 came to me a week and a half ago, and I'm thinking about the Apostle Peter, and part of the reason that I'm thinking about him 
is because I already stated that I have two very beautiful, very beautiful um, sunflower, I'm going to call them trays, y'all, worldwide, western world, y'all, it's it was the biggest joy this year, sitting here, I can't sit here very much because of some of the things that have happened, but I can practice and start anew, and it is Yom, Yom Kippur, so why not start anew with the king, and because hate crimes against the Jews are still very real. And so I'm coming alongside them. The only thing I want to say to the to the Jewish nation, to Israel, is please uh, stop with Palestine. In Palestine, please stop with Israel. That's a two-way street. <clears throat> so I'm going to move on. But you see, when I open my curtains and, and allow the uh, plants to be watered, uh, sunlighted, and I water them once a week. My ivy. Um, I would, I could sit here and I finally have some coloring and everything, so I'm going to do this, but it's just got to take time and I can't push myself. Um, I would watch the birds eating the sunflowers out of the middles, and it was just a special time. And I hung them out upside down because I said some time ago, and I believe it's on blogs, Ukraine and the Apostle Peter are very similar to me in courage. And so let's see why I was called to 2 Peter chapter 3. The same day, another apostle, Peter, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., that I read again. Um, I have a dream. And this is going to be a long video, and I am not ashamed. I have cut down to two Twitter, and I'm not pleased that Elon Musk is still being allowed to possibly purchase Twitter. I'm not pleased, but it also is not something that I am going to be concerned with. I'm doing the best I can to be loving on Twitter. I dropped uh, several of my accounts because I was released to do so, and on my secondary account, um, I have put in all capitals, no regret. And it's time for me to live that way and to push back what happened to me. What I have to say to the people that I'm talking to that need to need to rectify what you've done in my life, I have this to say, and I, I have said this and written this before on blogs, and so I will write it again soon, very soon, perhaps tonight, on the blog where I'm being honest, but also trying to still be discreet like I was in my first book as people were like tormenting me and the stuff because I became an author, uh, and how that happened was quite interesting. Um, it was quite interesting. It's something else now. I'm not sure what it is uh, as far as my life, generally speaking. Um, you don't know the shame, nor have you ever of a few things, those people I'm talking to. One of them is the King of Kings and Lord of Lords actually hanging on a cross for you and I. The other thing that many of you don't know is so many of the upbringings of young people in the United States, even from Gen X, where they were mishandled by people and walked off of. And I don't have that either. I don't have that either. I, I, my parents did protect me from the wickedness of this generation in my day, and I did the best I could with my the upbringing of my children. And I don't feel they understand that, nor do I feel that they want to acknowledge that, some of my older children. And that hurts. I'm just going to say point blank, that hurts. And yes, I can hear you saying, but you've hurt us. Mm. Yeah, that's the part where I'm saying uh, I'm going to agree with some of my older children that just said, you know, we need to forget about all of this. Everybody has a different story. That's true. But then some of them turned on each other. And I want to see that healed as well. I'm the mother. Um, and I am allegorically, symbolically, and in fatal a mother. So that's of millions of people time-wide. 
was trying to do Dolly Black Care Coffee of the Ministry of Uncovering and More. So I'm not just talking about a few people here. This is a why this is Yom Kippur. When was it established? I'm gonna write that down and find out for myself. Why don't you do the same thing? Particularly if you're not a Jew. <laughs> why don't we believe you know, if you're like somewhat interested in the Bible and you actually realize that it's a good history book, why don't you take a hold of the fact that um, there is neither male nor female, slave or free in my midst, in the New Jerusalem and in your midst. So when was Yom Kippur established? That's a good question. That's something I would get off the internet. It's going to be accurate. There's so much that I don't get off the internet. This particular Bible that I'm reading from is uh, a family Bible that was given to Curtis and I uh, when we only had one child, and she and I almost lost our lives, and that had to do with Freemasonry, the deliverance of Freemasonry. <clears throat> now uh, the King and I, and this is a worldwide thing, are seeing a uh, testimony of Masonic temples being destroyed in other countries, not America. So we're covering that too. You shouldn't be doing that either. My issues with the Masonic lodges has to do with um, misogyny. That is still very rampant. I'm also reading uh, Ruth Bader Ginsburg, who's a Jew. I'm reading her book. What uh, I Have a Dream is on is Abraham Lincoln's big book from Barnes and & Noble. And I have a whole website for Abraham Lincoln. He's in the New Jerusalem. He was the most honest, grand old party cons uh, president that there has been. <laughs> and he was shot 101 years before I was born. And there are implications of tragedy election there that I'm not going to go into tonight. What I am going to do is read 2 Peter 3. And then I'm going to read I Have a Dream. I cannot remember why I was driven to Second Peter chapter 3. I'm not going to tell you why when I realize it, because I will remember. I know myself. Um, what I will say is, whatever prompted me to, to write it right here <laughs> on my pad that I usually put grocery shopping on, brought out the testimony of the sunflowers. The one that I showed you by the door has my uh, four homosexual, transsexual, and bisexual people tape, all different color tape. The other one is, um, is special to me as well, and the birds, it's very healing, and I didn't know that Martin Luther King Jr. is an Apostle Paul excuse me, Peter, is an Apostle Peter, the rock of the church in America until tonight. And um, you killed the Apostle Peter twice now and probably more. I'm telling you that the King family is tried Judah elect and that I know Apostle Peter and that I know you killed him. He's been resurrected. I, I don't, I don't want to talk about that right now. No, I have not seen body forms of uh, Martin Luther King Jr. That's a different calling on, on my life to be able to identify this than the other side where I get my dad back, my brother, but my brother is also an Archangel Michael, so that's in mystery. That is in mystery. Uh, it's not real, it's a fake tale. You would never believe my assertions anyway, and I don't want to cause more fighting even in my family. <laughs> Chapter 3 of Second Peter. This second epistle, beloved, I now write unto you, in both which I stir up your pure minds by way of remembrance, that ye may be mindful of the words which were spoken before by the holy prophets, and of the commandment of us the apostles of the Lord and Savior. Knowing this first, that there shall come in the last days scoffers, walking after their own lusts, 
and saying, Where is the promise of his coming? For since the fathers fell asleep, all things continued as they were from the beginning of the creation. For this they willingly are ignorant of, that by the word of God the heavens were of old, and the earth standing out of the water and in the water, whereby the world that then was, being overflowed with water, perished. But the heavens and the earth, which are now by the same word are kept in store, reserved unto fire against the day of judgment and perdition of ungodly men. But, beloved, be not ignorant of this one thing, that one day is with the Lord as a thousand years, and a thousand years as one day. The Lord is not slack concerning his promise, as some men count slackness, but is long-suffering to usward, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, in the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. The earth also and the works that are therein shall be burned up. Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of persons ought ye to be in all holy conversation and godliness? Looking for and hasting unto the coming of the day of God, wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. That's fatal, my loves. But yet it happens here and there. Nevertheless, we, according to his promise, look for new heavens and a new earth wherein dwelleth righteousness. Wherefore, beloved, seeing that ye look for such things, be diligent that ye may be found of him in peace, without spot and blameless. An account that the long suffering of our Lord is salvation, even as our beloved brother Paul, also according to the wisdom given unto him, hath written unto you. This is a very important point. Also according to the wisdom given unto him. See, there is a wisdom apportioned to us. A collection. We generally stay in our lane. It's everybody else that fights us, hurts us, doesn't listen, and uses power wrongfully. As also in all his epistles, speaking in them of these things, in which are some things hard to um, to be understood. And um, <laughs> yes, I have been told that over and over. Which they are that are unlearned and unstable rest, as they do also the other scriptures, unto their own destruction. And this is happening more and more. Ye therefore, beloved, seeing ye know these things before, beware lest ye also being led away with the error of the wicked fall from your own steadfastness. The entire Christian Catholic population has fallen. And not just in America. If you want to know about that, you go find the King of Kings. And you ask him. I wouldn't dare. I do not lack proper fear. I admit the fears that I need to overcome on a regular basis. I do not lack fear that is proper, even of my own calling of charging to election. That is a true sober-mindedness. Ye therefore, beloved, say, setting Seeing ye know these things before, beware lest ye also being led away with the error of the wicked fall from your own steadfastness. I read it twice. It's not an accident. The king is here unseen. But grow in grace and in the knowledge of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. To him be glory both now and forever. Amen. This is part one. Part two will be I Have a Dream from Martin Luther King Jr was being assassinated around the time I was being born when Abraham Lincoln was assassinated and I have a son born my firstborn son born on my birthday that my father-in-law prophesied now that is true tragedy
election testimony. This is Kara Coffey on Yom Kippur. 